raise a problem. Okay. Well, I don't okay. come to y'all because of this reason right here. Everybody seem like. And you only live once, live life. Live life. How can something so wrong feel right? Is that right, yo? It's my vice, it's my vice, yo. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandrea J. If you're new, what it do? If you're not, then what's happening? As y'all can see by the title, today we are talking about my college roommate. I feel like this was the perfect time to go ahead and do this video only because school is starting back and this is actually my last year in school and I don't go to that school anymore and I haven't talked to one of the girls in like since the incident happened. So I'm still cool with everybody else. So if y'all name do apparently get mentioned in the video uh just know i love y'all y'all know that too um and there's no hard feelings but y'all know it's true whatever i say i know it's true y'all know it happened just like that if y'all don't know a little backstory let's go down memory lane yeah i went to clark atlanta my freshman year i lived in the suites i lived in the suites 100s there is suites 100 and suites 200 i stayed in the 100 the best and i had uh three different roommates so in the suite, you share, it's two rooms and a bathroom, um, and you share the bathroom with the other two girls. So in the suites, there's a room over here, there's a bathroom, and there's another room on the other end. So both rooms are separated by a bathroom in the middle. So the only thing that all three of us actually shared was the bathroom. My roommate, we're gonna call her Real Me, cause that's what I call her. <laughs> you know who you are, we love you, Real Me. So my roommate, Real Me, uh, I had no issues with her. I look to this day, we still fly back and forth to see each other. So, so yeah. And then on the other end, there was we're gonna say Jess and Bianca. Why not? Jess and Bianca, they had their own side, like I said. And then me and Rumi, we had our own side as well. So, as mentioned before, we, me and Rumi, were separated from Jess and what's the girl name already? Then Bianca, we were separated uh, by the bathroom. Before I got to Clark, I was already in a separate group message with some other friends. And we were all talking about our roommates. You know, have y'all found your roommate? Everybody found their roommate? Yada, yada, yada. Everybody found their roommate but me. So I'm just like, I'm gonna just let it, you know, play out. I wasn't that desperate to find my roommates. I kind of was. I was only desperate to find my roommate. Not, you know, more so my sweet mate because my roommate, I want to talk to her because me and her have to share, uh, we shared a sink and then we shared a refrigerator. So I wanted to talk to my roommate, not more so my sweet mates. But you know, nevertheless, uh, my sweet mate, Jess, she actually found me first and I do have the Twitter messages. I'm gonna pull them up. Okay, yeah, so she, she DM'd me on Twitter and she was like, hey, someone else said that you were my roommate. Are you my roommate? And I was like, OMG, are you in room 416? 416A, that's where I was at. And so if you had a room now, kudos to you, girl. And I was like, I'm so excited. Like, where are you from? Girl, she she was from Georgia. Like, she was from Atlanta. She said she stayed 15 minutes from Clark. And so in my head, I'm like, well, if I stay 15 minutes, I'm not staying on campus. Unless, you know, it is paid for. But still, again, I'm, that's just me. I'm not staying on campus. As y'all know, I go to Texas Southern now, and I don't stay on campus. Texas Southern is 20 minutes from my house, and I don't stay on campus because... No, I can. I'd rather be at home, not sharing anything with nobody. And you know, it's just like, where are you from? I was like, oh, I'm from Houston. She was like, oh, I'm G so far. And I was like, yeah, I know, yada yada yada. You know, we were just getting to know each other. How old are you? Blah blah blah. Yeah, we were just talking about you know the sweets, how excited we are, where we from, blah blah blah. Why we chose Clark. At the time, I asked her, I was like, hey, did you you know meet any of the other sweet mates, like any of the other girls? And she was like, no, I haven't met them yet. But the whole time they were all in a, a group message on group me, but I didn't know that. So I finally downloaded the group me. Someone sent me a link and I think, oh no. So Jess had actually found my roommate. So I think Jess found all of us because uh, the way it happened, she was like, oh, I think I found your roommate. And I was like, oh, add it to the group message. Let's make a group message. She was like, you want to make a Twitter group message or you want to make a regular message? You know, I message. I was like, let's do I message. You know, why not? We need a group message anyway since we are about to be living with each other or whatever. So, uh, just made the group message and I found my roommate. But I was texting my roommate outside of your message or whatever. So, like, the whole time of the group message, Jess was being, like, weird. Like, she would text me separate. She would be like, uh, do they seem a little off to you? I'm like, girl, we don't even know them yet. Like, calm down. 
pipe down little mama comment uh whatever so right there it was already giving me like this girl is like you know doing too much already but we gonna brush it off let it slide the um second thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way about her was moving day so moving day uh, i met everyone and i was looking at jess y'all this girl had on a sports bra and spandex and you know jess she's a little bit more developed like she's not big she just got this and she got that and my first instinct was girl real clothes that you finna meet people's parents you about to meet my parents and my mama, she's a Capricorn just like me, so she be knowing, like, she be knowing I bet, like, she be knowing vibes out there. And then you finna be my stepdad, in, let alone my roommate mom and her parents as well. And then your roommate and their parents, like, and you just got on sports bras. And fitness. I understand it's hot outside, it's Georgia, it's hot Atlanta. I understand that, but baby, y'all seen how I look when I moved in. But, anyways, I was looking at her like, hey, hey, girl. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> you know, we just chilling, moving our stuff in. Uh, at this point, my roommate, my roommate's parents and my parents are talking to each other, and I'm just, you know, moving stuff back and forth. Mind you, there's only one elevator in the suites that works, and it's so slow. I stayed on the fourth floor, so I was like, I'm not going to keep on waiting on the elevator, so, you know, I was going up and down the stairs, back and forth. Jess, she was there. Um, it was one time I was carrying, I don't know what I was carrying, y'all, uh, but it don't matter. I was going up floor flights of stairs, and it's hot in Atlanta. And Jess, she had three guys helping her. I think it was like her boyfriend and two other guys. I don't know. But she had, you know, males helping her. And of course, I had my stepdad and my mom. But we're all like, you know, carrying stuff. And it's just us three. But her, she, it was her, her mom, her sister. She had three dudes. You know, she had a lot of people. I didn't have as much help, basically. I had enough help, but not as much as her, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Even though I'm independent, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, need, I mean, I don't need nobody. I just need a soldier that ain't scared to stand up for me. Anyway, <laughs> so I was going up the stairs. Uh, my mom and my stepdad were already up there. I think they were like setting up. My mom, I know she was cleaning up, doing some, you know, doing some. My stepdad, I believe he was bringing stuff up the stairs and I was bringing stuff up the stairs too. So I saw Jess and the three guys and at this point they were empty handed. I think they were like, then they were going back up, but they were empty handed. I don't know, me, I'm the only girl of three boys and I've always you know my brothers are very polite they know you know how to treat a woman my first instinct in my head I thought the guys you know were gonna offer some help they're like oh do you need me to carry that up there for you or you know take it out my hand and carry it up there no they smooth walk past me and I'm just like <laughs> What kind of gentle, whatever. I was like, okay, so these some little boys, but I ain't even worried about it because like I said, I'm independent, I'm I can dead. carry I'm me, me by myself. So that kind of blew me, cause I'm like, well dang, like I know you see me with all this in my hand and y'all going, y'all going to the same place as me, like y'all could have grabbed something or at least asked, like they didn't even ask or nothing. So I was like, okay, whatever. We gonna brush that off too, but like it's, you know, weird vibes. So we brushed that off or whatever. And you know, that was that. So the whole, the first week, everything was good. Like we were all cool. We were all going to new, uh, what is it called? What was the first week? I forgot what the first week is called before you go to Olive Branch. We were all going to the, it was like you had to go to all of the days in order to go to Olive Branch. And Olive Branch is where you get your Morehouse sister. You get your, you get your Morehouse brother and your Spillman sister. Girl, where you at tonight? <laughs> So, you know, everybody's excited to meet their Spellman sister and their Morehouse brother. So you got to go through that whole week and then get through Olive Branch before you can do that. So the whole week, we were all cool. We were all waking up. We were waking each other up on time, everything like that. We were all walking down the prom by with each other, you know. Make sure we get to the student center at the same time, at the right time, so that way, you know, we all can go to Olive Branch. So first first week, cool. That second week, you know, when classes start or whatever, that's when I started to see the problems, like, as far as being dirty. I have never shared anything with nobody besides my brothers, and that, that's way different from sharing things with girls like girls like y'all have what i have so my roommate personally she was never dirty i'm glad honestly i'm glad they didn't give us a chance to pick our roommates me and my roommate was wasn't close at first we were never close at first like we didn't even like we'll say hi and bye you know she i want to watch a movie and stuff like that but we were never that close at first so we never really talked but she was very respectful i was respectful of her space anything that i waste in the sink or you know around the sink i pick it up and same with her so we never really had no issues. It comes down to the bathrooms. With the bathroom, Jess, she bought she bought the shower curtain, I believe. Yeah, she bought the shower curtain and she bought the, the curtain rod for the shower. And we all was like, uh, we were just gonna bring our own roll of 
tissue in each time we go to the bathroom. Well, that's what I did. Me, or, me and my roommate, we did that. So as far as the shower or whatever in the bathroom, so just had red hair, y'all. Like Jess, I think she did hair. She was a hairstylist, allegedly. She did hair and makeup for people or whatever. I just noticed that she was changing her hair a lot. So when we first moved in, her hair was black and then she dyed it red, like bright, 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 bright red. And this girl had dyed all over the shower, over the shower curtain. Um, her hair was shedding, so it was red hair like all around the toilet. Like it was just so nasty. I didn't take a picture of that because it had just happened, you know. We're not finna, I, my thing is we're not finna start this already. So yeah, I was like, we're not finna start this already. I'm finna just, you know, confront her and be like, hey, like there's red dye on the shower curtain. Um, it's red dye in the shower. It is red hair on the floor by the toilet. You're the only one with red hair. Pick it up. Yeah, because it's like nobody else in there has red hair. Jess is the only one with red hair. I believe Bianca, she had, what did Bianca have? I think Bianca had twists. Or we, one of them. But nobody had red hair but her. I texted in the little group message. I was like, hey, I see there's a lot of hair. Cause it was, it, I ain't gonna lie, it was a mixture of black hair and red hair. At the time, everybody had weave. I had weave too, so, but I, I knew that one my hair. <laughs> you know, you can't really just tell who hair was, but you could tell it's hers because, like, again, she had red hair. In the group message, I texted, I was like, hey, it'll be nice if you guys, you know, pick up after yourself. I've been seeing a whole bunch of hair on the floor. I also saw red dye in the shower, and yeah, you know, just like that. Like, it'd just be nice to everybody pick up after they because we all have to use that bathroom. So, y'all, this girl goes in the bathroom, but she take the shower curtain, the whole whole shower curtain she takes the shower curtain and you know the little uh, plastic part that go behind the shower curtain well both of them plastic but you know the second one the little liner baby she took all that she said oh you you want to throw shots i'm gonna take my shower curtain baby that's what she did and at the time i didn't really care because number one the shower curtain was dirty it had red dye all over it so i was like take it girl nobody want to take a shower in that nasty dirty but that's dirty shower curtain and me wherever i go even to to this day if i go to hotels i don't want no shower curtain touching me i was literally like the shower curtain don't touch me like as soon as the shower curtain hit my skin y'all i'm gonna have to scrub two more times before i get out because that's just nasty like ew so y'all this girl took the whole shower curtain and i was just so applauded because i'm like i'm gonna take the shower and you taking the whole shower curtain girl me Rumi, and bianca we had went and bought another we went in on another shower curtain so after we bought our own shower curtain stuff like that we all cleaned it so me bianca and Rumi, we cleaned the bathroom um we put the new shower curtain in uh and you know that was that and we never had no issue after that it was still die in the shower but the shower curtain she took that girl she said mm, that was that and we never really had another issue with that as far as you know the shower being dirty or having hair around the toilet i mean from time to time it still was like little hairs around the toilet but just sweep it up but at the same time it's like bro like get your hair i don't i don't like hair on the floor like that is one of my biggest pet peeves. I cannot stand it. And so the next incident that happened, this really is the, like the really big incident that led to her not even like rooming with us no more. So the air conditioner. So in the suites, um, the air conditioner is on one side. Of, so remember when I said the uh, room, it's a room right here. It's the bathroom, it's another room. So on the other side, so on Jess and Bianca's side, they control the air, but it was on Jess's side, if that makes sense. It's room one and room two. So room two is where Jess was in and that's where the air conditioner was, like the thermostat. So, y'all, this girl really had lost her mind at this point. At this point, I was like, okay, yeah, something wrong with you because it is hot in Atlanta and we moved in, it, it was still hot. It was transitioning into fall from summer to fall. In the middle of the night, I remember being so hot and I'm like, bro, like what's going on? And I didn't sleep like, cause I can't sleep when it's hot. So I had texted the group message. I was like, hey, is the air on? Because it's hot over here. And they were like, yeah, it's on, it's cold over here. So what Jess was like, yeah, it's on, but it's cold over here. So I turned the heat on. You did what? You turned the heat on and it's already 85 degrees outside and you turned the heat on. Girl, I was below because I'm like, why didn't you just get under the cover or why didn't you, you know, turn it up? instead of just turning the heat on. She had it on 90, y'all. Uh, 90. I was like, no wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I, I believed her because she said on their side, it gets really, really cold. But on me and Rumi's side, it be so hot. And I was like, jeez, it 90? So I was just hot and irritated all around. So I asked her like, hey, like, 
not don't do that no more like keep the air at, like you know 72 and so everybody agreed to like we're gonna keep the air on like i believe it was like between 70 to 75 that's what we're gonna keep the air on everybody was cool with that we agreed to that cool cool so y'all, I believe it was one night we all went out, but like I said, I wasn't that close to them. So I went out with my friends, Rumi went out with her friends, and then they went out. Jess and Bianca went out with their friends, I guess. And we get back home. Um, they all get back home before me. I was the last one to get back home and it was hot again. It was hot as hell. I took it upon myself, mind you, it's like, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning at this point. So I took it upon myself and I went over there. I opened that little bathroom door. I put that little curtain back because she had a curtain in hers to like block her off from everybody. But, and I pushed it back and it's dark so I can't really see anything. Y'all, this girl was laying in the floor. She was laying on the floor by the thermostat. She wasn't laying by the thermostat, but she was laying to the point where you have to cross over her to get to the thermostat. And what I did, I crossed over her to get to the thermostat because you're not going to play with me. Number one, I can't, I'm not going to go to sleep when I'm hot. So I had went over there and baby, I touched the air, y'all. Come to find out the damn air broke. When I touched it, it broke. I was so pissed off. I was pissed off because it was like, if you would just left it at 70 to 75, like we agreed on, we wouldn't have had this issue. So y'all, the air broke. We had to put a little call to maintenance people so they can come fix the air. It took them a whole day to come fix the air. I was just so irritated because, and it's crazy because that wasn't, so after I touched it, we had to get the RA involved because obviously she wasn't listening to us and why you put the air on, on 90? So we got the RA involved and the RA was like, we need to leave the air at this, yada, yada, yada. And so at this point, I'm just real irritated. I was telling my mom, my stepdad, I was telling my stepdad the most because at our house back in Houston, we keep our air on 65 to 70 and I'm just really used to being cold and going to sleep comfortably. So my stepdad was like, well, it's probably different out there in Atlanta because you know, they air don't just come out like our air do. If that makes sense. The way he explained it made sense, but the way I'm explaining it, I don't think I understand. But so I was like, you right, you right. I was like, I'm finna buy a lock box to put on the thermostat so she can stop touching it. I'll be the only one with a key. For about two weeks, two, three weeks, or like a month, we were good. Like, everything was cool. We didn't have no issues. Until one day, y'all, she touched the air again. She touched it again. I'm just like, okay, at this point, like, you're not gonna learn. And so, like, I, I wish I still had the messages, but I remember I had texted her on the side. I was like, hey, like, stop touching the air. Like, stop. She was like, well, it'd be so cold over here. It'd be so cold over here. And I was like, well, it'd be so hot over here. And I was like, shit. And so that's, that's whenever Bianca jumped in. She was like, yeah, it do be cold over there or whatever. And I was like, I understand it. But, bro, you can't be putting the air on 90. And so she, me and her were just going back and forth. I really wish I still had the messages. But me and her were going back and forth. She left a group message with me, her, uh, Bianca, and Rumi. She left it or whatever because she was just so fed up. And I was fed up because I'm, I'm tired of sleeping hot. So at this point, we, we didn't talk to her or whatever. Uh, she didn't touch the air at all after that she ain't say nothing to us no more um the air was cool like we um we was cool because we kept breaking it the more we touched it the more our air kept breaking it was just so annoying like so yeah we we didn't talk for a little minute that's whenever I, me and Rumi started getting closer and then me Rumi and Bianca started getting closer as well so we would hang out we would go out or whatever but I remember we were out one time and Bianca was telling us how she, her room was just like so gross and I was like I didn't really believe her until one time y'all had to touch the air again. I had to go over there and touch it again, but at this time, uh, she wasn't there. She wasn't there, uh, but I would, I did go over there. It was like daytime. I believe it was after one of my classes. Uh, me and Rumi was on. And I was like, come over here with me so I can touch the air. They kept their side unlocked. Me and Rumi kept our side locked because you're not gonna come over here and mess with our stuff. So y'all, when I went over there, this girl room was a mess. I'm gonna insert the video because I still have the video. Or was it a picture? I don't know, one of them. But this girl room was a hot mess. Like, I really, I wanted to throw up. Cause it's like, you're a girl, so how are you even living like this? Yeah, I was like, oh, let me show my mama because this girl is dirty. Like, you so cold, you can sleep under all that ass. All that, all that trash and stuff you got in here. I don't see how you cold. And it was so stuffy in there. After that, I, I ain't say nothing about her room being dirty because she gotta sleep in there and they ain't got nothing to do with me. I believe like two days later, uh, y'all, she had the nurse to have a boy come over. And her room was like that. And I, I haven't been over there since I touched it. No, Bianca had texted me and Rumi and Bianca was like, uh, she got company over and they having sex and my first thing is like y'all having sex in that twin xl mm, couldn't be me girl first of all i'm extra long and we didn't go get a hotel because number one that's disrespectful my roommate is right next to me 
and it's literally no doors y'all it's just walls so i'm pretty sure she heard bianca heard so bianca texted she was like she has a guy over and they doing a do and i was like do you want to come over here with us and watch a movie she was like no it's good or whatever and we was just like how she got a boy over there and her room looked like that like that's the next level trifling so i don't know maybe she cleaned it or whatever but i remember bianca saying that she had a little candle or whatever and i was just like girl ew <laughs> and so after a while she stopped coming like she stopped coming home we didn't she never was there like towards the end of the semester she was hardly ever there and we never really had no more issues or whatever but i remember it was one time we had went on her side again and touched the air because you know we were, we were cold but it was like i said she was barely there so it was just me Rumi and Bianca so uh we let Bianca know we're finna go to their side and touch the air and Bianca like that's cool so I went over there and I touched the air or whatever and that was that and so later that night I we first of all I received a phone call first from the RA and uh I didn't answer because I didn't, I didn't know that number so then my roommate received the number from the R she received the call from the RA and she answered and the RA was like we're gonna have to have a meeting with y'all I'm gonna need y'all to all come down right now da, 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 da. and we were just like for what, like, for what? So me, Bianca, and Rumi, we went down there and she was down there with the RA, just smiling, like, just sitting there like this baby waiting for us she was just waiting for us and we let her talk first we let her say her side of the story first and the ra you know let her say her side of the story first and nobody interrupted her and she was just basically saying that we always come to her side we always come to her side it's always a problem yada 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 so i get to i get to explain i was like no we never really had an issue with you we just asked you to clean up we asked you to stop touching the air and you you disobeyed that so we just stopped talking to you like it was nothing personal she was like well every time I every time yada 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 it's a problem as y'all seen in the video you know doing the most like girl what you getting loud for like and the RA was just like listening to everything she wasn't really doing nothing she was just listening she was like well this is what we're gonna do if it's another issue then we're gonna have to get y'all a new roommate da, da, da. and at the time we was like okay like we need an another roommate i was like first of all she's never there and to begin with i wanted a new roommate like i wanted a new one but whatever it was toward the end of the semester so we really was just like we really didn't even care no more like girl bye like you stay 15 minutes away go home i think that's what ended up happening because like i said we stopped seeing her or whatever and so after that whole ra incident we just really like i was that like i I think she started to slowly move her stuff out because when we went over there, it was nothing left. Like we came back from Christmas break, and uh, she never moved back then, and we were just like. Mm. But she was still on campus because I had two classes with her and I would see her and like I said, we wouldn't say anything to each other. We was just like, that. that's that. Like, girl, you just decided to just be nasty. You could be clean, but you decided to be nasty and that's just that on that. And we just stopped talking to her. She stopped talking to us. And to this day, I have not heard about that girl, seen that girl. Me, Bianca, and Rumi, we're still cool to this day. But yeah, y'all, that was the story of my roommate, my horror horror story my roommate it wasn't really a horror story but she really was scary like i don't know what wrong with that girl but someone was like really wrong with her i don't know but i just really hope nobody else has to go through that if y'all do go through that do not fight y'all like it was so many incidents where girls would fight just don't don't fight y'all and if anything if you struggle with communicating with your roommates just write a sticky note they gonna see it they can act like they ain't see it but they gonna see it write them sticky notes Place it wherever the trash is. So if it's trash by the toilet, place it like on the little toilet. Just be like, pick up your trash. Or, you know, just simple stuff. But if you're not a conversational person like me, then most definitely get you some sticky notes and start writing on your sticky notes. And you should be good. If y'all want any more videos about school, let me know. I hope to see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Bye. And you only live once, live life, live life. Uh, uh. How can something so wrong feel right?